Now we talk about uh, one of the most valuable startup that's a no more startup startup uh, in the of the last years. Uh, this lady, Julia, is uh, recycled from the recycled material. They can uh, add in chemicals, natural chemicals. They can improve, they can transform, as uh, this morning's presentation of the NTG, some of the waste that cannot be any more processed or that can be processed for this application in other products that are not garments and they're not no ones. Please. Thank you. Um, gonna share our experience and then a short and brief uh, consideration of eco design. I know there are some students here, so maybe we can have a chat. Um, I'm gonna start with a question. Yes. Uh, you have some other um, Do you know on average uh, how many times we wear uh, an item? Can you guess the, the number? Eight, five. 10, 20, okay. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven times probably it's a zombie data, <laughs> but um, uh, most of them, uh, as we heard this morning, are uh, polycotton, a mix of compositions, and we understood that it's uh, very tough to recycle them. So five years, five years ago, almost five years, I decided to open a startup, to launch a startup, uh, focusing on giving a second life to textile waste in general. Um, and so we can work uh, different type, uh, types of uh, any compositions, actually. So from polycotton, cotton, uh, four, five, six composition at the same time from yarn to the final garment, they probably have some defects and the company doesn't want to, to resell. Uh, and we arrive to a new material that is, uh, here you have some samples, it is similar to, to cardboard, uh, plywood or uh, medium density fiberboard up to um, high density fiberboard. Um, here you have some technical details, of course it depends uh, and they can vary uh, from uh, uh, cotton, this is, uh, these are just uh, some infos uh, regarding uh, denim. Uh, um, and with that we, we can create several types of products uh, from packaging to, um, sorry, here you have um, furniture, um, anything actually. Uh, it's a patented process. Uh, we have some uh, um, activities that are manually, uh, that are done manually, uh, set up uh, phases. Uh, for instance, if we, um, if we process uh, some clothes, we have to take off uh, um, the bottoms, zippers. Uh, uh, we have to separate by color, and this is actually done manually. 90% um, of the cases uh, uh, we work uh, pre-consumer, so you don't have to do these, uh, these activities. And then there are several phases, uh, both from uh, automat automatic and machinery phases, um, up to chemical, uh, green, green chemical uh, uh, activities, arriving to some sheets, then then, like, can um, be transformed in any, in any products, anger, price labels, uh, up to desks. Here you have some, some examples. How we work? We try to uh, work with the brands and textile companies, um, work to get, working together with them, so it just, it's not just uh, gonna collect your uh, production waste, but let's try to work together in some projects. Um, and so um, let the, 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 our customer become proactive in their production waste. Uh, so we can collect their production waste, uh, but we enter in a process uh, in finding the, the right product that the company can uh, sell, uh, buy back. So uh, I need uh, production beans for my, <laughs> For my shop, so uh, we're gonna try to analyze their um, their waste, the pre-consumer textile waste, uh, and we try to create the, the final product. 
Uh, here you have some use cases. So from uh, work uniforms that were actually uh, stock uh, for many years uh, in a warehouse. Uh, here you see the composition, it makes composition with the, the company, the, with the customer. We decided to uh, create some um, price labels to be put to their uniforms. And then there's also um, take back program that the company is trying to uh, to work on in order to get the price labels back uh, and then we can reprocess it uh, over and over again. Uh, here you have uh, some uh, sneaker wrappers, so we remove the, the bottom part uh, and we work three uh, uh, different compositions, polyester, polyurethane and leather. And with the customer, we decided that they wanted to have back some production trays, uh, some production beans or office beans and some hangers. Just to give you an idea of the, the applications. Uh, and all of these materials should have thermovalorized or sent to landfill, so we give a second life. Uh, bridal dresses, uh, there were some uh, actually <laughs> real dress uh, or some production leftovers. Uh, composition is silk and polyamide. Uh, and we were able to create some uh, uh, small application with their, uh, for their dresses, for the new collection, some boxes or uh, uh, hangers for uh, their uh, bridal veil. Uh, here another one, uh, okay, this was just uh, the um, uh, cotton, so ribbon uh, um, in cotton and the company wanted to, to create coffee tables uh, and some boxes and catalogs for their, uh, for their fairs, so just to give you some examples. Um, and then <laughs> here are the, the, some considerations. Um, so uh, sometimes we uh, com clients arrive and they have, uh, for instance, uh, silk, um, and we work them with uh, natural resins uh, uh, in order to arrive to a durable product. I mean, we have to analyze the input material and we have to work on the output product and trying to match both things and trying to understand if it's better to work with natural resins or synthetic resin based on their uh, final output. I mean, if uh, uh, we have polycotton material and the customer wants to be to, to create a um, disposable box, we, we, we're gonna, not going to do it because uh, the end of life uh, is uh, um, landfill anyway. Okay, so uh, if we arrive, uh, so we have first uh, uh, to, to distinguish uh, the input material, if it's possible, if it's organic or synthetic, uh, uh, monofiber versus blended uh, fibers, uh, trying to understand what the customer wants. Uh, if I have to create a table that is supposed to be durable, okay, maybe we can work uh, not only with uh, natural resin, but we can work uh, also with synthetic resin that can create a more stable and uh, rigid material and product, and final product, just to, um, to share this consideration. I don't, want if, don't know if you wanna, uh, if you have any comments on this topic. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> some demand of it, or, uh, did, mm -hmm. did you finish? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. This is the no. Just, just, just to leave this because that no. Give me, give me, to me because I like that. Said we are ready. Product online, so not only garments back, but also some other that could be used for brands for their communications. For example, in the shops, 